An important question was answered in Africa Town tonight. Are six parcels of land there too contaminated to be reused in this historic community? The answer came during a meeting of local, state, and federal environmental agencies and the people from Africa Town Plateau community. NBC 15's Darren Singleton was monitoring that meeting for us tonight. He is here with some surprising and positive answers. Darwin? Well, Kim, a few years ago, the city of Mobile got a grant to assess what are called brownfield sites. Now, they're places that are either polluted from the past or are simply perceived by you, the public, to be polluted. The idea is to see if they can be put back into public use. And six such sites are in Africatown. As she served up refreshments tonight at the Hope Center in what is now called Africatown, Ruth Taylor Ballard recalled how things used to be here in Plateau. We did not have to leave for anything. We had grocery stores, we had drive-in theaters, we had restaurants, we had doctor's office, drug stores, post office. Do you see that day returning? No. Not to that extent. Not to that extent. But with the recent attention the old Plateau community is receiving after the discovery of the slave ship Clotilda, there is renewed interest here in the people and the land. And the land is what this meeting was all about. Using a federal grant, the city of Mobile requested a Brownsfield assessment to see if six unused plots of land in the community are contaminated by previous use. Tonight, the community received the results. Turns out four of the six sites in question are just fine. The other two? Uh, there's contamination present, but it's easily remediated. Says Ray Richardson, environmental manager for the city of Mobile. Um, two of the sites, one is Josephine Allen mm -hmm. and the other is Lewis Landing. We did find some contam contaminants of concern, mm -hmm. chemicals of concern. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can remediate those contaminants. What could these sites be used for? Brownfield sites can become just about anything imaginable. Including affordable housing. And that's raised the interest of City Council Member William Carroll. He thinks the former Josephine Allen housing site could maybe one day be reused to bring people back to the Africatown Plateau community. And this Brownfield assessment goes a long ways to determining how we go about that, uh, what types of financial obligations we would have to mitigating the site and removing the small contaminants out there. Uh, we have a couple of spots that are a little hot, but there's nothing major out there that we cannot take care of. This Brownfield assessment grant has already led to the redevelopment of several key sites in Mobile, like the old Buick building on St. Louis Street. And now property here could come back into play. After living most of her 88 years here, what does Ruth think about it? Still have questions, but I'm hopeful. Now, Ruth tells me she'd like to see more young people move back into her neighborhood, but that likely won't happen until there are a couple of stores and a gas station, she says, and maybe, just maybe, a couple of these sites could be used for that, Ken.